Oh, Honda E. I want to love you. I mean, there's a lot about you that's amazing. I mean, you're cutting edge, you're class leading. You're just difficult to love. It's sad, really. Yeah, I'm gonna come straight out and say it. The Honda E is a really good electric city car, but there are some significant caveats that hold it back. Just enough to stop me from properly falling for it. And I wanted to love it because look at it. It's utterly adorable. Hey, look. Charge port right at the front. Digital mirrors. Flush door handles. Okay, but oh, but instantly we have a problem. Have a little look at this, the boot or lack thereof. 171 litres, that is, which is tiny. I mean, a VW E up, that's got 250. But also, you've got to put your charge cables there, which takes up more space. Very irritating. That's um, annoying. And we'd expect better considering that the E is a ground up EV. Anyway, the car isn't defined by its boot space and there is at least a decent amount of room in the back seats. So we're willing to look past this if the rest of the E is brilliant. Okay, on the move, I mean, it's, this isn't quick. This isn't a quick car. This is 152 brake horsepower, 0 to 62 in like eight seconds. If you want a performance car, you need to go somewhere else. This isn't a performance car, this is a city car. This is designed to be small and fun and manoeuvrable and chuckable. That's what it is. This is chuckable. This is totally a chuckable car. And I'm, I'm, I'm literally coming up to a corner now and want to chuck it around a corner just because I can. It's like the handling is really quite nice and the grip is really good as well. But chuck it, chuck it. Yeah, chuck it. Grip's great. Chuckable car. Chuck it. One thing I have noticed that I think is worth pointing out, you need to position your hands on the steering wheel in a different way. So if you normally drive like this, you can't do that here because actually my hand is blocking the mirror because the mirror's normally there, but no, because they're there, I, I, can't, I can't see the mirror if my hand's there, so I have to lower them down so that I can see the mirror. I just thought that was worth pointing out. So, yeah. All that fun doesn't come at the expense of comfort either. The Honda E is super quiet and suspension is very well set up. It's slightly firm, but it's well damped and it's never uncomfortable. Nice. And then we have the Honda E's party piece, which is this. Super duper tight turning circle. It's because the electric motors are at the back, so the front wheels can just turn as much as you like. Oh, and also what's worth a mention is the fact that the one pedal driving works really nicely. You can lift your foot off and come to a complete stop. There's the crew, it's in there. Have a little chat. Tej and Greg, they're not even paying attention to me. <laughs> no, it works very nice. Oh, and it's super duper easy to park as well because of the tight turning circle. Lovely. Okay, as you can probably tell, the little Honda is really winning me over and we haven't even got to the really good stuff yet. Now, the interior. This is where this baby shines. This is retro. Like, I feel like a cassette player would look quite cool in here. But the materials, like, there's no leather or anything like that. It's all fabric. But the stitching gives it like a... Um, like a denim vibe, which I think looks quite cool. And there's a wooden effect. This is not actually real wood, it's plastic. But that all feels very, very nice. Yeah, in total, we've got six screens in here. Six. Two of them are the digital wing mirrors, which actually I thought was going to take a lot more getting used to, but my brain accepted it pretty quickly. And they're so crisp and clear, so I really like those. And then instrument cluster there, and then these two bigger screens. They're 12 and a half inch screens each and they've got everything that you need radio nav apple carplay android auto aquarium yes yeah, it's, it's an aquarium do you want to look all right then. there you go click on that there you go aquarium it's where i keep my fish <laughs> i don't know why you need it but it's, it makes you feel nice and relaxed while you're driving lovely now you're probably thinking that's five screens nicola no it's not six screens flip that 
It turns on a camera at the back, so you can see at the back. Again, super crisp. Very nice. Then you've, oh look, cup holder, lovely. And plugs. Sockets for days. USB, HDMI, so you can plug in your PlayStation. And a three pin. Oh look. Happens to be connected to my blender. Does anyone fancy a smoothie? Shall we? I genuinely didn't expect that to work and it worked. That's so good. I love that so much. Yes. Wow. I love it in here. It's so cool. Oh, this is the top spec version, by the way. This is the advanced trim. So you've got like heated seats, heated steering, and then it's got adaptive cruise control, etc. Yeah, not too shabby in here. Oh, that's lovely, that's lovely, yeah. Huh. Oh, it's all so quirky and so Japanese in here. And we are massive fans of the Honda E's interior. It really makes you forget all about that small boot. What is harder to ignore is the Honda E's range. Honda claimed that this car can do 137 miles. This car will not do 137 miles. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't think it can. There's no way. You'll probably get like 90 to 120 miles if you behave yourself. And that's gonna be a big problem for a lot of people, especially if you have range anxiety, don't get this car. This is a city car, that's it. I mean, don't get me wrong, you can still fast charge it. You can charge it at a 100 kilowatt charger that will go up to 80% in like half an hour. But this isn't the kind of city car where you can go, oh no, it's fine, we'll use it as a city car and then we'll take it 200 miles away to go and visit Auntie Val. No. To go and see Auntie Val, you're gonna to have to charge it twice and then hope that Auntie Val has home charging when you arrive, basically. Yeah, city only, and then you're good to go. Interestingly, Honda isn't shying away from the low range figure. It says, because cars like this very rarely travel over 100 miles or so, it was best to keep things simple and not fit a big battery if the car was only going to be used around town anyway. And that's quite clever thinking, really, because surely it's better to save money rather than adding any extra weight. Although I'm not going to lie, this is quite a heavy car, to be fair. This is one and a half tonnes for a city car, <laughs> which is crazy. And also, yes, I'm fully aware that you've probably already written it in the comments. This is a very expensive car, £34,420. 34 grand for a little city runaround. Ah, oh, this is where... I want to love you, but it's just, it's not going to work out between us. I'm sorry. You're, you're still fit though. I just, I can't, I can't. I 